blessings family welcome to another video thank you guys for your prayers and thoughts in this video you will be hearing about the scenario between skilly bang and the connecticut promoter i've heard about it on social media but i was waiting for the official report watch the video till the end and let me know what you guys think sometimes i think that i'm unstoppable yeah ready to go man lock and load that's right. Anyway, based on dance on Maga, Connecticut promoter admits that he assaulted Skilly Beng and his manager, well-known promoter, stepper of SMB Promotions LLC, who was one of the organizers of the Skilly Beng Live Wap Wap Dance Hall event held at the West Indian Social Club in Hartford, Connecticut in on Sunday, June 5, admitted that he was the one who roughed up Skilly Bang and his road manager, Larry. Stepper explained that he felt he was disrespected by the Crocodile T DJ, who, according to him, refused to come to Connecticut ahead of the show to help promote it on the radio station interview. I confronted him in the tour bus because I never want nobody see what I want. Me ask Larry about the radio station interview they were supposed to do. Larry said he tells Skilly Bang about it and Skilly Bang denied it. So me get vexed now. You say you're comfortable in New York and now come a Hartford. It's a clown thing. Him Larry say him they tell you is a clown thing then. So me deal with them like clown. Sepa claim he hit Skilly Bang in the head with a champion buckle and slap Larry. Me give Skilly Beng the champion buckle in a him ears and me slap Larry across him face. Them can't play with my money. When asked whether Skilly Beng retaliated, Stepper said, him not do nothing. What him a go retaliate with? Me just take him out of the tour bus, make him go work on stage, him do 15 minutes, run off of the stage and go in the crowd and left. There were conflicting reports that Skilly Beng and his manager were attacked by Yankees in the venue, especially females who felt his performance was not great. Photos have been emerging online showing Skilly Beng tour bus with the tire flat on the wrecker. I don't have any issue with the 15 minutes. He got some flowers for crocodile teeth and wap wap, but he never give the full hundred. Stepa claimed that he didn't know about the tour bus and that uh, people had cut up the bus tire right he also went ahead and said it's not the money or the problem it's just the whole principle because basically him did want skilly bang management to go help promote the show at connecticut stepper said the real disrespect start when skilly bang failed to do the interview on at 93.7 with dj craig g stepper went ahead to say dj buck Called them and gave them the time for the interview, but they never answered the phone until Sunday, the day after. Me beg mineral boss call. She call Larry, the road manager. Me call Larry and ask them what kind of thing that. The people in Hartford want to know he's here and around so we can get people on the show. By this time, I spent 50 grand already. And uh, them I tell me, say, Skilly Bang comfortable in New York. And him no want to come out for it because Hartford a country place. Stepper said that Skilly Beng also refused to come to Hartford, Connecticut to appear in the West Indian restaurants to drum up some pre publicity before the show. Me go 100% for Skilly Beng. And uh, him a try this me like clown. Him over New York say Hartford a country. I respect and courtesy me I deal with. Me never want no itching pan the thing, you know. Me spend 50 grand. Him never do no interview, no promotion, and him arrive at me show 10.30 when he feel like off at 11. Stepper said he had a great working relationship with most dancehall artists. Stepper also went on to claim that it was his company, SMB Promotions LLC, that helped to secure a work permit for the WAP WAP artist to tour the USA. Me put up my money in at the first place before Skilly Ben get the work permit. Me give up $25,000 before him get work permit. And then the management call and say him want tax ID and then send LLC license. And they got the permit and they didn't even work with me and drop the price. They stuck at 50 grand. So 
On May 31st, I sent 25000 rest of their full performance fee, he said. After the show in Miami, Stepper said that Skilly Bang manager Larry told him they wanted to go to New York to do a remix for Wap Wap with French Montana. I booked the ticket for him to New York and when they got there, they wanted to rent an Airbnb for 14000 And me say, you're mad. Why 14000 I told him no. I got a holiday in and it worked out to be 2600 for four of them. And me send the money through the bank to them. Step up, explain. So it's a whole lot of stuff I go on, guys. Um, anyway, let me know what you think about this whole Skilly Bang Step up situation. Drop your comment in the comment section. And if you're new to my channel and uh, you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.